Hello from Wimberley, Texas. We just got here to our little tiny cabin. I'm so excited. We have done this once before. We've done one of the getaway stays that we're doing this weekend, but we've never done this one that is right outside of Austin. Wimberley is so much fun. There's so much to do around here. It is currently Friday evening. It's about 7.45. We just got in. We're about to unpack all of our stuff. I will show you guys the cabin. If you haven't watched the one that I did in Dallas when we did it, it's super cute. Definitely my kind of camping because there's a bathroom and everything. It's just super, super cozy. And this time it's really exciting because we brought Cash with us who's currently peeing. Austin is so dog friendly and especially in Wimberley too, there's so many different places to swim. It's gonna be really hot this weekend and possibly very rainy. So we'll see what we get up to. We're just here till Sunday morning. So it's gonna be a fun little weekend getaway. Excited just to spend some time out in nature. Thankfully it didn't rain today. It said it was supposed to rain, but we got some clear skies. And yeah, I will give you guys the tour. I'll show you guys the outside first. <laughs> Cash is currently waiting for Aiden. Aiden's in the bathroom, but this is what the outside looks like. We are staying at the Rosemary. I'm not sure how many exactly that they have, but it's pretty spacious. This is what ours looks like around the cabin. It's very different than the Dallas one because that one was very much in the woods, but this is just a much different scenery. It's really cool. And then here we have the outside. You can kind of see into the little bed area right there, but it's just so, so cute. And then right here you have a fire pit, which I think we'll try to do s'mores one night. Last time we had also cooked dinner and everything over here. I think that we're just gonna eat out most of the time here because we want to try a lot of the restaurants around here. They have a bunch of campfire equipment in here. Just a bunch of wood and stuff. We got the starters. Yeah, I feel like that would be fun to do one night. I think our friends might come here too and do some sort of fire but and then here we have the inside it's always so pretty at first i remember last time when we left ours looked so much different by the time we left and so i'm trying to get these clips beforehand but that is just such a pretty view to fall asleep to we got a nice queen bed they also leave us some stuff here too we have some s'mores kits i think we might have to pay for those but you can put your phone in the lockbox if you want to not use it. Some dog treats, some bowls too, as well as a towel, which will be good because it is supposed to be rainy. And then the kitchen is definitely nice to have too because you have your sink, you got a stove top, we'll use the kettle for our coffee. And then they also have some snacks and stuff there too, as well as a little mini fridge. So yeah, it's definitely not a classic camping experience. I like this. I think that this is pretty nice. And then you have your bathroom. This is definitely a nicer bathroom than the one that we did in Dallas. I feel like there's a lot more space. You also have a full shower with shampoo and stuff. And there's a light too, but the fan turns on when you do the light too. But that is it. Super, super cozy. But now we're headed to dinner. We're going to one of our favorite pizza places in the area. It's called Community Beer and Pizza. Aiden's grabbing something out of the car, so Cash is whining. But they have really, really great pizza. So we're gonna head there for dinner. Sounded good for the evening. Back from dinner, we just picked up some groceries, just a few things here and there. So share a little grocery okay. haul. We got our eggs over here. I'm gonna try to make some eggs in the morning along with some bacon. Coffee for our Chemex. I typically do like to do the actual whole bean coffee, but I'm just gonna use this because it's a little bit easier. Got some butter, some milk for our pancakes. We got some Kodiak cakes. I'm gonna try to make those in the morning too. And then we got some cold brew. Aiden likes the stock, so he grabbed that and then some maple syrup. And then also these berries, which usually again, I would buy the berries where you can wash them and everything, but this is just easier to get them pre-done. So we're gonna put all of this stuff away now. And then I think Aiden's gonna make a fire and watch our movie. Come here. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling her bug story. 
tell away? I had to tell the story because tonight at dinner, we've been to this pizza place before and really, really liked it. But essentially while we were eating, Cash wants to go outside. Aiden's starting our fire right now. While we were eating, it's just like an open air restaurant. So all the doors are open, all the windows are open. This bug flies in and it is the biggest bug I have ever seen in my life in the weirdest looking thing. It was honestly probably the most disgusting bug I've ever seen. It had this giant tail. It looked like a dragonfly with this giant, giant tail and it was huge and it was slowly dying. It fell on the table next to us and then it fell to the ground right by Aiden. But both of us while we were eating the pizza just completely lost our appetite because this bug, and not all bugs will do this to me, but it was so disgusting. That essentially we only ate half of our pizza and ended up bringing back most of the pizza, which will be nice to eat tonight too. It's nice having late night pizza, but I just had to tell that story because I hate when stuff happens like that, especially when you're at a restaurant and you're so hungry. Like we had both just done this long car ride, ready to eat. And then that nasty bug died right beside us, which was not fun. But nonetheless, I would still recommend. It was a really good dinner, minus the bug situation. just woke up it's about 8 30. i'm about to start making us some breakfast i think i'm just gonna do scrambled eggs and bacon we're not super hungry because we did eat a lot of pizza last night and so i don't think we need anything too much i also have the berries too so i'm just gonna cook all that stuff on the skillet inside i just made some coffee it is so peaceful outside there's so many sounds of nature that you can hear it's so nice I just got ready for our hike. I think that we are gonna go to Cypress Creek nearby. I don't think it's a very long hike. I think it's only like an hour or so to do, but we think it'll be better because it is supposed to rain later on today. And it also is pretty hot and it's gonna get hotter. And just with cash, we don't want it to be 90 degrees hiking because that's just not good for him. I just changed into this little bodysuit from Amazon. And then my hiking boots that I'm wearing are from Columbia. I'll link these down below. I really like them. They're pretty affordable for hiking boots, but I think that they're super cute, so. And I think there might be a creek that we can jump in. I don't think we're gonna swim today. I don't know. We'll see if it's really hot enough, but Mr. Cash might, so we'll see what happens. Had a little bit of a detour because Aiden actually can't find his wallet. He went to get gas this morning though, so he's checking the gas station to see if it's there. We tried to just call them, but they didn't have a phone number listed, and so he's going to check, praying that he ends up finding it, and then we're gonna try to head out and go for a little hike, but such a bummer. I hate when stuff like this happens. I stayed back just so I could stay with Cash, who's currently aggressively licking my knee. But yeah, we'll see what happens. We hiked the Cypress Creek Nature Trail. It only took about 40 minutes or so out and back, but it was still nice to get some exercise. We then stopped by Shamrock Tacos on the way back. This was just a taco stop in a gas station and grabbed some tacos for lunch. Like, just watch it from the shelter. 
We are back now from our hike. I've obviously had a little bit of an outfit change. Earlier we did go for that short hike. It was just about 45 minutes, but honestly, you guys, it is so hot today. <laughs> you can't really tell because it is cloudy, but it is so humid. It feels like a sauna. I think it's 80 degrees, but it feels like 95 today. So just with cash, we don't want to push it going on longer hikes. We did bring plenty of water and everything, but we stopped and got some street tacos at a place called Shamrock Tacos, and those were so good. It's in a gas station but they were delicious and just took a nap for a little bit and now we're headed to a place called Arnoski Farms they have I believe it's just a flower farm they might have other stuff too but they have a really cute barn and they sell a lot of their pre-cut flowers and that's only about 10 minutes from here so we're gonna stop by there and then maybe head over to Wimberley and just check out the shops there I did see that they have a really big market too I'm not sure if it's still going on right now we might stop there before heading to dinner but I just changed into this top I don't remember exactly where this is from but my skirt is from Brandy Melville This farm was so neat because they had an honor system where essentially you would just drop your cash for the flowers in a cash box, which I just thought was super sweet. It is Sunday, it's also very humid, so my camera is gonna get a bit foggy throughout these clips. Let me clean you off there. Last night we hung out with friends and just grabbed dinner with them, so I didn't really vlog last night's adventures, but it's our last morning, and I am gonna try to use up all of our breakfast food that we have. We have Kodiak cakes, eggs, and bacon, so I think I'm just gonna make a feast this morning before we head out and just try to eat all of our food. We didn't bring a cooler or anything, so I can't really bring the cool stuff home, but the Kodiak cakes, I can bring some of that home, but we'll just add some of those to our breakfast and then we're gonna head out. I think checkout's around 11. I do wanna take some photos once we move all our stuff out and the cabin's a little bit cleaner. So we'll also do that and then head on back home to Dallas. So we're on our way home right now. Aiden is picking up our Panera that we're gonna eat in the car, but I wanted to share the Polaroid photos that I took because I think they're so cute. This one I accidentally took on selfie mode, so it's a little bit blurry of cash. This one I did on the normal mode, so cute. Aiden took this one of me and cash, I love it. And then this one we tried to take outside, it got a little overexposed, but I still think it's cute. This is the camera that I got. I really like the orange color, the terracotta, I think it's pretty, but yeah, I just picked it up on Amazon, so super Back easy. Back home, obviously, this is the next day. I just finished up editing this video and I just wanted to say that I know it was a lot shorter than I wish it was. I really try to get my videos to be around 20 minutes or so. Even 15 to 20 minutes is just not cutting it for me. I really prefer to post longer videos. But this one was just shorter. I didn't end up getting as much footage as I would have liked. And I honestly thought about just scrapping this video and being like, I'm not gonna post it. I'm just gonna skip this upload, but I still think it's a really sweet video and it's something that I still want to look back on. And I was reflecting on this because when I first started YouTube, it was very much about posting videos that I genuinely loved and genuinely wanted to just reflect on and look back on one day. I watch my old videos all the time, especially my last tiny cabin video. It was just so sweet to watch because we had just gotten married. And that's kind of the root of why I started this. And I think it's easy as you go through life and you've been doing something for a long time for the motives to kind of change. And I do find I'm more motivated now by what I think is going to perform well and what I think people are gonna enjoy the most, which is also just part of it. That's, you know, part of being on YouTube too. You wanna to post those bangers, it's very important. But I think it's nice to just post sweet videos too every now and then. I feel like social media right now is at this really weird place. And let me know what you guys think about this too. Not a weird place, but it is just so dominated by the short form content, which I love. Like I love creating the Instagram reels and I love watching those. Aiden's always like, 
All you do is scroll on your reels sometimes because I think that they're so fun. You can watch so many different forms of content just by sitting down for an hour or 30 minutes or 10 minutes or whatever, instead of having to consume this long video. But truly, at my core, I'm such a long form person. I love YouTube videos. I'm such like a OG YouTube girl. It's still my favorite platform. It's still the thing that I set up to watch YouTube videos when I'm cleaning, when I'm just hanging out. When I'm searching to go somewhere, I always search on YouTube. That's just the place that I identify with the most. But I don't think that that's the trend anymore. I think it really is moving towards a lot of that shorter content. So let me know what you think. Let me know what you prefer to watch. Do you like watching all kinds of content? Do you like YouTube more than others? I'm not even saying this for you to tell me that you love YouTube. I just think it's really interesting to reflect on and I kind of just started this to say that I really like posting long videos and then I start talking about short form content but I also did want to mention too that I do have a referral link if you're interested in booking the tiny cabin. That was my primary reason for doing this video. I wanted to share if you're interested in doing this. I think it's so much fun. It's such an easy getaway to do. It's very quick. You can book it a couple weeks in advance. You Usually they usually have openings unless it's kind of like a busier weekend. I do think it's kind of the coziest to do in the fall time when it's a little bit cooler. I like doing it more so then. We just had a very sticky weekend and so it was still fun of course and they have great AC too. The AC is really strong in it so don't have to worry about that especially if you're in Texas. But yeah everyone gets a referral link so I'll have mine down below. It gets you I think 25 or 35 dollars off your first day. I can't remember. But thank you guys for being here. You guys mean so much to me and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.